Now, there are few like Timothy Dixon. Probably one of the worst false prophets of these end times. He's been right about nothing. He's been wrong about everything. His followers don't care whether he's right or wrong. They're being entertained. They're getting their itching ears tickled. Timothy could probably prophesy something like, Murder hornets will rise up and fly on eagle's wings to storm D.C. and put Trump back into power. And his followers would not only believe it, they would defend it, they would promote it, and whether or not it came true doesn't matter. They would basically worship this guy as being some great one of God. Now, recently I got a comment that caught my attention. I did a video last September. Uh, it was actually pretty, pretty, pretty funny. My apology to Timothy Dixon, it was not an actual apology. And many followers were very upset about that. But the comment came uh, right here from Trisha Davenport. And of course, she said, you need to repent. You are mocking a servant of God. Check out when the Lord told Timothy Dixon that it would rain fish. God gives us signs before he moves. Imagine prophesying such a thing, but it happened. Watch it. So, a couple of words I want you to remember here are before. God gives us signs before he moves. Because we're going to take a look at this today. Did this actually happen? Now, we're over at Merriam-Webster's dictionary. We're going to get the definition of prophecy. Uh, here it says, an inspired utterance of a prophet, the function or vocation of a prophet, the inspired declaration of divine will and purpose. Look what it says here. A prediction of something to come. Confirming what our uh, Tricia said, uh, a prophecy happens before the event. I want you to remember that. It's sad that I have to explain this, but remember that. Now, before I show you my research, my findings, it's a good time to remind the haters, the followers of Timothy Dixon, why biblical followers of Jesus Christ do these things. We're commanded to. We're being biblical. Unlike most of the followers who don't care that these false prophets are blaspheming the holy name of God, Here's why we do it. 1 John 4, 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Why do we do this? It even gives the reason. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. We have permission. We are commanded. Don't just believe anybody that starts flapping. Now, the first video that I came across uh, was on a channel called Elijah Clips. I've seen this guy before. A horrible blaspheming channel which happily gives platform to all the false prophets, all the wingnuts, all the crazies who lie to the people in the name of Jesus Christ. This guy will not be held unaccountable on Judgment Day. But I've got a clip queued up here, and this is going to give you some background here. I want you to take note of the date that this interview was done. The video was published, and we're going to listen to this clip. So here we go. And and wow. another one is about the uh, the fish. Uh, and that was just here recently, about a week ago. Um, I told and prophesied. I said the Lord's going to give give us a sign that He's not done. He's not through. He's going to prevail. That uh, it would rain fish from the from heaven. <laughs> And that's a crazy, 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 and it, before I, we actually have a clip of that, I haven't seen it yet, but are you saying this was a sign that he wasn't done with 45? Is that Trump. what you're saying? Yes. Trump. Yeah, yes. Okay. He is not done with him. He's not done with America. He, we ain't lost this battle. To be yeah. encouraged. Hold on. Good. Well, let's go. Jeff, go ahead and play that clip. I haven't seen it either. This will be fun. It was raining fish for a few minutes in Texarkana this afternoon. It happened around 4.30 p.m. According to... Pay attention. This is a clip they're playing from Texarkana, Texas. 
to an employee who works for the Ormax dealership on Summer Hill Road. He says he and his co-worker Brad heard loud noises and looked outside, only to see fish falling from the sky. There's a loud crack of thunder, and we opened up the bay door, and I looked outside, and it, uh, it was raining real hard, and a, a, a fish hit the ground. And I said, it's raining fish. And Brad was like, no, it's not. And I was like, no, it really is. And fish were dropping here and everywhere. <laughs> raining fish is believed to be the result of a rare weather event. When a water spout moves over water, sucks up small creatures like fish and frogs, and carries them along until the water spout loses steam. Wow, Timothy. Yeah, you can't make that up. You prophesy. Yeah. Now pay attention to this guy. Uh, part of his job is to build the hype. Um, and he's going to show some very fake emotion here as we unravel this deception. A few, a few days later, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like a... I'm going to back that up. Wow, Timothy. Yeah, you can't make that up. You prophesied yeah. a, few, a few days later, right? Yeah. Now, did you hear what he said? First of all, after his fake, wow, Timothy, you can't make this stuff up. No, you, you can make this stuff up, and he did. He literally said, you prophesied this a few days later. Later than what? Let's take a look. Now, what you're looking at is the clip that Elijah clips or streams or whatever it's called played while him and Timothy watched it. Here's the title, Fish Rain from the Sky in Texarkana. Here's the interview. I want you to look at the date, December 29th, 2021. That's when this report was published on YouTube. And here is their channel, KTAL News. Are you following? Are you writing these dates down? Very important. Now, as we come back to Elijah Clips, I'm going to play this again just for confirmation. Wow, Timothy. Yeah, you can't make that up. You prophesied yeah. that a, few, a few days later, right? You prophesied that a few days later. Is that how prophecy works? <laughs> My goodness, uh, if that's the case, I want to prophesy 911. And then you can put me up on a pedestal and, and call me a man of God, uh, true prophet, because I prophesied something that's already come to pass. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, see, that was on Wednesday, and I was in the New Year's with Robin Bullock that night, matter of fact, the same day. Yeah, Robin was on platform with me. So with Robin Bullock. So we're going to take a look at this next video, uh, what he's talking about. He was doing some conference with Robin Bullock on New Year's Eve. Let's go look at that. All right, well, here is that video. Now, this video was published on January, I'm sorry, January 1st, 2022. But the event actually happened on the night before, on December 31st. This was a New Year's message. So for those of you who want to try to tell me that it happened before, no, it, the actual event happened on December 31st. And whoops, someone's a fan of Saturday Night Fever, John Travolta. All right, as I play this clip, uh, he's talking about Hezekiah, and he's going to give his infamous so-called prophecy. Watch the reactions, watch the acting, so on and so forth. Here we go. But when he gave him the 15 years back, the Bible says that the, the Lord gave him a sign that I'll destroy the Assyrian army. The Lord told me, This will be a sign to you. That I'll bring revival to America. And I'll restore this country.
Well, what was the sign? Now, here it goes. He said it would rain fish. Good look. He said it would rain fish. Did you hear me? What? Where was that at? Texarkana three days ago. It was Did you see that? Did you what, what? What? Huh? What happened? Someone's yelling from the audience. Yeah, it, it happened three days ago. Timothy holds up his fingers. And says three days ago, it already happened. What did it do? Let's watch that again. He said it would rain fish. Did you hear me? What? Where was that at? Texarkana three days ago. It. What did it do? Yeah, God is doing something, but it wasn't what you implied that he did here. <clears throat> Pardon me. What an absolute deception and acting job. This is all acting. These deceivers, these wolves posing as sheep, watching the news, then making their prophecies and acting as though it's some great thing. Even admitting on Elijah clips that the prophecy was made after, the followers are none the wiser, or they just don't care. He didn't prophesy. Remember, we took a, a look at the definition, as was listed in Merriam-Webster's dictionary. This man did not prophesy that fish would rain. He watched the news clip and then took it and made it as though it was his own. He's an absolute deceiver and an outright liar, using the name of Jesus Christ to do so. These are the worst people in the world. Now, just so we're crossing the T's and dotting the I's, uh, here's an article from KSLA News 12. You can, whoops, let me get back there. You can see the headline, uh, Fish Fall from the Sky in Texarkana. And as you read the article, uh, this confirms right here a thunderstorm that blew through parts of our, I'm sorry, Arclot, Ar I don't know if that says Arclot text, Wednesday afternoon. The actual storm, the event happened on December 29th. So after being obedient to 1 John 4.1, this is the results of our testing of the prophet here. Number one, KTAL News published their news story of fish falling from the sky because of rare water spots December 29th. The Elijah Clips published their Timothy Dixon interview touting prophecy fulfilled. That was published on January 12th, almost two weeks later. Timothy and the host admit the prophecy was made after the actual event happened, but somehow people are still amazed by this. The New Year's message video confirms that the prophecy was made after the actual event happened. By the way, that event took place two days after the event happened, and somehow people still believe that this was some kind of a prophecy thing. It's just astonishing. And, and I know so many get mad because I guess I'm viewed as some sort of a party wrecker. This, my friends, was not a true prophecy. This was yet another example of these frauds utilizing and taking advantage of social media to watch the news and then come forth and start allegedly prophesying stuff. It's unbelievable. Timothy Dixon is nothing more than an opportunistic wolf who preys on the gullible, the weak-minded, the simple. He has a ministry of death. He is shipwrecking the faith of millions. 
And people ask me, well, how, how is he doing that? What harm comes from this? He's drawing people closer to the Lord. No, what he's doing is he's drawing the simple-minded away from the true gospel, and he's shipwrecking the faith of those who are broken, looking for the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And what they do is they come here, new Christians, and they view acting like this while he makes videos appearing to be so holy, turning on the camera and then turning around, oh, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, and he does his acting. People think it's real. New, new Christians do. And then he makes his stupid prophecies, which are false. And then the, the true ones who are looking for Christ, they see it that what he said didn't come to pass. And what they do is they conclude that their experience must be false. They trust ministers like this to bring them the truth. And they clearly see, again, because they're not gullible, they see that it's not the truth. And so what they do is they quietly walk away, not from Timothy Dixon or Amanda Grace or Troy Black. They walk away from Jesus Christ, broken. They were looking for the truth. They can clearly see this man is a con artist who's making a ton of money by using the name of Jesus Christ to gain monetarily while he fleeces the flock with his ridiculous, patriotic so-called ministry that is entirely focused and centered around Donald Trump being reinstated into the Oval Office. It's absolutely pathetic and sad. And so at the end, what do you conclude? Well, most of his followers will simply get mad at me, ignore the actual facts that I brought forward here, and they'll continue to support and follow this actual false prophet. And sadly, that's the case also with all the other ones, Julie Green and Amanda Grace. But God sees everything that's happening here. Jesus talked so much about being aware or to beware of the false prophets in the end times because they're going to be so plentiful. 2 Timothy 4.3 talks about those who abandon the truth and heap unto themselves teachers having itching ears. These people that watch social media. that See, that verse never really maybe made sense to me. What do you mean heap? Un they heap these teachers. Any one of these followers who rarely reads their Bible, they have 20, 30, 40, 50 prophets, so-called prophets that they follow. That's what you call heaping teachers because all they do is stay online all day and watch these fake prophecies from these imbeciles who do nothing but watch the news headlines and then hurry up and make a video and and say something about oh god told me that roe versus wade was going to be over too. that's because they watch the news prior to that and then people are like oh, wow a prophecy just came out about roe versus wade being overturned it's amazing no it's not amazing these opportunistic deceivers are watching the news and then making it as though it were their own and people just believe it. It's very sad. Do I sound angry? Yes, I am. I am angry. My brothers and sisters are being deceived and shipwrecked while these actors get richer and richer. They buy houses and move into new houses, all while falsely prophesying. And the people just don't care. It's very sad.